Well, as a career and technical uh, instructor, um, I'm always looking for uh, project-based or problem-based instruction for my students, and so I look basically all over the web and um, at graduate programs to try and find as high a level uh, system as I can. Brian, when he came to us in our information technologies position, he had this dream of creating a solar car. He brought the concept with him. He'd been doing research from uh, over the years about the solar car challenge and the whole solar car program concept. And uh, he brought that idea to me. I was 100% on board and, and, and getting it off and running. The competition that we are working for to go to the Texas Motor Speedway is a three-day preliminary round called Scrutineering in which judges will go all the way through our car and make sure it is mechanically, electrically stable and along with making sure that the students knew everything on the car and to just ensure that it is completely safe for a student to drive. And then after that, if we pass Scrutineering, we will have one day which is another qualifying round in which only a specific amount of vehicles will pass and then they will go on to another three days of racing. Well, it, it worked through really last year at the SOAR Summit. Our kids and the solar car team, uh, during a presentation, the governor uh, explained uh, as far as an availability to, to, to reach out to Kentucky Speedway on our behalf and our kids got to go up and, and it did provide a, a lot of benefit as far as running the car on the track ahead of time of a couple months taking the car to Texas Motor Speedway at Dallas in July. Honestly we thought it was going to be really hard but Mr. Freighter and Mr. Coleman prepared us and we actually flew by scrutinizing with ease because of their help. Well, we came into the race uh, expecting to just, like our only goal was to actually just get through scrutineering itself and get onto the racetrack. We didn't even, like we hoped, but we didn't really have planned that we'd be racing all four days and even get fourth place and things. So we were just surprised and excited, stuff like that. We raced all four days with no mechanical problems at all, and we raced and we got about 300 miles in. I was one of the three people that drove during the competition, but the biggest part about driving on it is always being aware of your surroundings, even though it's getting really hot in there and there's a bunch of noise coming from the chain. It's really one of the tedious jobs. You gotta just lock yourself in and go along with it. Knowing that you built or took part in the building of a car that was able to compete on the national level on a NASCAR track and you placed fourth place your first year going out, it's, I don't even know how to describe it. I'm just gonna say they have far exceeded every possible um, thing that I could have uh, set before them. They have, they have taken the challenges that we've given them and we've set the bar very, very high and they took the bar down and said, we're gonna set it even higher. It's a very engineering heavy focus program. Uh, it's a it's STEM initiative. It relies very heavily on that because you know, you're building a car. And if Governor Bevan wants to make Kentucky the head of engineering and manufacturing in the United States, and so for Kentucky to do that, we have to, we have to get people trying at a young age to be engineers. And this is something that would be perfect for that.